Hello and welcome to the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and on this video, we're going to show you how to change your WordPress theme. So it's very easy to do. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into the WordPress site that you created in the past two episodes. Let's go ahead and go to whatever your address is. Mine was pcmichigandatest.wordpress.com and press enter, obviously in whatever browser you're in. My instance, my, my theme's probably different than yours is right now. Just go ahead and scroll down to the bottom right-hand corner and click Login. Mine already is logged in, so I'm going to click Site Admin. And this is going to bring up my dashboard as we did in the previous two videos. Now, to quickly change your theme, this is a very easy thing to do, we're going to scroll down to Appearance on this left-hand side on your dashboard and click the drop-down. Now, then there's the option for Theme, so go ahead and select that. And then this is going to show you 15 randomized themes from their 108 preset themes. Now, when you have your own WordPress site and your own WordPress hosting, you can upload any theme you would like. When you're using the WordPress hosting, you have to use a theme that is included in their WordPress features, you know, because they want to make sure that people are complying with the same security protocols and standards that, that they you know they implement so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and scroll down here and uh, you can or organize them by a through z popular recently added or premium i'm going to go ahead and put them order by popular i'm going to see what the most popular one is let me scroll down here it looks like it's kubrick which is kind of ugly so is 2010 um the nice thing about this is you can actually preview it so let's go ahead and look at 2010 i'll go ahead and preview it this is probably the one you guys started out with once you click preview you can notice it opens up in your little window and this hasn't updated it yet you can go ahead and scroll down on the right hand side and take a look at what your blog will look like in that theme if you don't really care for it we can go ahead and close it in the upper left hand corner with this little x so go ahead and click the close button and then we'll scroll down a little more and i'm going to go ahead and check out this Coraline theme because this one looks kind of cool actually let's go to ocean mist because it looks like it's you know cool scenery that's actually a very cool looking theme, I think. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to use this theme. So I'm going to go ahead in the upper right hand corner here, they have a little button that says activate ocean mist. And I'll go ahead and select that. And then it's going to actually implement that, integrate that theme into my website. It might take a little bit for it to apply it. So just go ahead and sit there and wait for it to go through and uh, give it a little minute. Okay, now it should have gone through. Let me click on the themes here on the left-hand side again and see what we got. It says current theme, Ocean Mist by Ed Merritt. And then obviously if I go up to the top here where it says my first blog, go ahead and click visit site. Yours will probably say whatever the title of your site was. And then here we have our brand new theme that we activated. Now this is one of the first things that you can do. Uh, play around with the theme. Choose one that you're really happy with. Choose one that you're going to want to stick with for a while. Now the great thing about WordPress is you can change the theme at any time. No matter how many posts you write. Uh, I like to stick with one that I like because when you change a theme, then you have to go in and change widgets and sidebar stuff and, and footers. and So spend some real time on this and choose a theme you really like before moving on to the next video. But that's all there is to this video. I just wanted to show you how to activate your first theme on your blog. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make your first post, how to properly make your first WordPress post. Because the earlier you get in these good habits, the better you're going to be in the long run. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. Swing by the website. I do have a web forum where you can ask any question you'd like. I have a new section for uh, WordPress support over there. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks again.